Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. Today, we are going to be talking a lot about the Porcelain Melter from Tinker's Compliment, and also completing and getting her first prestige point. So, guys, I hope you're ready. So today, we got a lot to jump into, and just like last episode, there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to have to cover. Um, so, right off the bat, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna jump back into our quest list and we have a couple things that we need to push towards and sort of finish off most of these saplings. I think we could probably get most of these saplings all the way up maybe to diamond today um, as they are not really that difficult once you hit this point. Um, so as of right now, we need to obtain a tin sapling and a coal sapling. But first we should probably work on the coal sapling. Let's take a look at that. So the coal sapling requires a birch sapling and it just gets smelted. It's that simple. Um, but how do you get a birch sapling? Well, you need some water and a sandy or a sand sapling. And that's how you're going to get a birch sapling. Um, we should have a couple of sand saplings, but what I'm going to do is how I've always done this. Place a couple down. We're going to go ahead and do our lovely shift dance. And this is just going to guarantee us more saplings. And I, I say this um, so people can kind of grasp this, but like this is a really good way to get saplings. You can get um, sometimes really lucky and get close to 10 to 15 saplings sometimes off of one to two trees. Um, so it's definitely well worth your time doing this. And then, I mean, if you if you do unlock or excavator, which I don't know if I'm going to even need it at later game, um, if you do unlock it later on, it is definitely helpful. So, now that we got these extra saplings, we're going to come over here. And literally all we need is some water, which we have over, the, over this. And we give that sandy sapling a little bit of hydration. And that's going to give us a birch sapling. And we're going to need to just cook up the birch sapling. It's that simple. That will get us a coal sapling. Um, so, same thing. We can do this here. If we want to, you know, kind of jumpstart the coal production... Um, which I'm not going to use this solely for coal. This is literally just for crafting at this point. Later on, we will use coal. But charcoal is, is a lot easier to automate and a lot easier to set up. And plus, we're generating so much wood. Um, charcoal is pretty much the exact same in this pack. Even when it comes to black dye and crushing it down, pulverized charcoal and coal are exactly the same, basically. Um, so yeah, that is how that's going to work. Um, so that sapling, pretty much done. We can count that off, off our list, right? Yeah, I, I would say so. Um, but we are going to need some of its resources. So we might as well get those planted and kind of get started with it. Um, I am going to plant these again. And of course, these are going to, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go ahead and crook them to get the saplings. So that way we can get them planted in here and have a good, you know, good amount of them. And that's what we're going to do with these first few. Um, so once you get this done, of course, I'm going to go back. I'm going to get these. Uh, thrown in here. We're going to get that started. We need to sort of move on into making that tin. So you need to make tin amber. And let's see. There we go. Tin amber. This has a couple different recipes. You have the recipe once you get a tin sapling. And you have the recipe for creating this without a tin sapling. And for that, you're going to need gravel, bone, and clay with flint to do that. Gravel, you know, just like you see. Bone, gravel, and clay. So let's hop in here. We have clay, we have gravel, and we need some bone. And we're also going to need some flint. Now we should have gotten flint by the drops from the gravel. So this should give us enough to get two of these saplings. I'm sorry, two of these, uh, amber pieces. So let's go ahead and make at least one. Let's, let's make one for right now. And we ended up getting yourself 10 amber. And that kind of helps you along and lets you know how you make these ambers in order to upgrade and get yourself into making this. Now, at this point, things are about to change. We need to melt this amber down because we need a 10 sapling. And this is the episode you guys probably have been waiting for because I've gotten a lot of questions during the live stream. By the way, live stream's absolutely awesome. We just hit partner last live stream. 
It was phenomenal. If you didn't, if you want to see the clip, I recommend hopping on the Discord. The clip is is in the announcements. It is awesome, dude. We got raided by Twitch staff. Oh, it was it was so so crazy. Um, but yeah, we ended up <laughs> getting partnered uh, yesterday, which was absolutely phenomenal. Um, but anyways, back to this. <laughs> getting off subject. We we I have gotten a lot of questions over there about how the uh, how this step works in making this with the casting. Because you don't have access to a Tinker's Construct Smeltery, like it shows. But you do have access to Tinker's Complement, and which it does sort of mention. We're going to need more birch saplings. So good thing we uh, you know, farmed up some more sand saplings, um, because we're at least going to need two. Um, so we have a little bit of water here. So there's one, there's two. And two of these birch saplings is all we're going to need for this step. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this, get these trees cleaned up. And uh, we're going to work on this here in just a second. Let's do one more thing first because I'm also going to need this stuff to be cooking. Um, what you need to do is make some porcelain. So we're going to turn this into clay. We're going to turn this into bone mill a little bit. And uh, we're going to combine this together. And that's going to make porcelain. I probably need about a stack of it. I don't think I'm going to need more than that. Um, but... I recommend making about a stack and then we're going to have to cook that. So let it, let it, you know, smolder in a furnace. We can make more furnaces. I think I'm going to make another furnace and let that cook faster, but I'm going to go ahead and get most of this uh, chopped down and uh, I will be back. So now that we have everything rocking and rolling, let's go to get our porcelain out of our thing here. And uh, some things that I recommend making right off the bat, there's this mod in here called more buckets and it is very awesome. We can actually make buckets with obsidian, I'm gonna make two of these. Um, and these things are really cool. They hold three buckets of their internal fluid a piece. Um, so what you can do is get yourself some cobblestone, be ready, scoop up one bucket of lava, fill that up, you can scoop yourself up another one, and in total you can hold, you can hold with this material alone three buckets of lava. And also we can hold three buckets of water. And there are different materials, and each material kind of gives you um, a higher amount. But obsidian is probably the easiest for us to obtain at this point, and does give us the most uh, amount that we can hold at the moment. We're going to utilize this here in a second. Let's jump into that porcelain, right? So, uh, we need to go into, or just really search porcelain. Um, and we're going to see a few things. We need a porcelain casting table. A basin. This is very similar to Tinker's Construct, so you might be used to this. A porcelain faucet, which this is made from the raw stuff. Um, so we will need to grab just a little bit of clay. Again, and a little bit of bone mill. Because we do need a little bit of the raw stuff. There we go. And we'll just make that like a bucket. And we're only going to need two of those. At least I recommend two. Perfect, and we will smelt those down. Back to the rest of this, we are going to need a porcelain tank, which means we need a piece of glass. And I think the melter requires glass as well. So two pieces of glass. All right, so you're going to need a porcelain melter. And some people get this confused and they think they need a heater, but honestly, you just need a porcelain tank. Um, the heater alone, you do not need. I don't know. I don't even think it uh, is required to complete this first page. I don't believe it is. Um, so you can kind of skip it and go straight for the tank. And I'm going to explain how this works. So you take your tank. This is where your heat source. Then you have your melter, which goes above that. So it recognizes this as a heat source. And we're going to put lava in that. And then on the side, we're going to have two different tables. We're going to have one that's a casting basin and one that's a casting table. Um, and then once these are done, we can use these faucets on the side after they're cooked to export into the actual casting basin. It sounds very simple, right? It, it is very simple. Um, all we need to do now is give this some lava. Look at that. And all three buckets went in there, by the way. Um, this holds four buckets. And we will eventually utilize all of this, um, as you can see. So now this thing is completely full. What we can do now 
is throw our 10 amber in here. And this is where it showed the casting table being used. We just place a sapling here, and whenever we're ready, whenever this is fully melted, which it is, it has two ingots, because one amber is worth two ingots full. Um, so we can cast one. This is going to be a ingot worth that is going to convert this sapling into a tin sapling. And honestly, that's the process for pretty much all of the other saplings. Um, it, it really is that simple. And we're going to make two of these, and then I'm going to grow them. And so that way I can get the saplings. Um, so moving on to the other saplings, we have iron, we have lead, we have gold, and we also have silver. All of which are pretty easy. Um, if we take a look at amber, iron amber only is going to require coal, sand, gravel, and clay. So if we pull that out, sand, uh, clay, and gravel, which is gravel's in here somewhere. There we go. And the new coal, that's all it takes to make some iron amber. Um, so look at that. We have iron amber, but a sapling is a little bit different. An iron sapling is going to require an acacia sapling. Um, an acacia is going to be a little bit different to get. We need an apple sapling. And this also kind of confuses people as well, this step. That's why I want to go over each step of making each sapling. That way you guys can understand this. So how do we get an apple sapling? Well, we are going to need a regular oak sapling. So let's get an oak sapling because that's how we need to do this which requires a dirt sapling and some water um, so we should definitely have a dirt sapling so I'm gonna grab about four of those get herself some water four of those and then we're gonna place them in here because they actually have a higher chance if they're placed in bonsai pots of giving you the apples than as if you would actually place them in the world I know that may sound weird, but that is the truth. That is absolutely the truth. Um, and these are gonna grant you some apples once they do fully grow. So we'll give those a couple seconds. And guys, I hope you were enjoying this, uh, these, these Let's Plays. I do really enjoy doing them. And uh, it's, I mean, it's absolutely, it's absolutely fun to see you guys' reactions to like going, oh man, I didn't know about this. I'm glad you told me. Like, I love those kind of reactions from you guys and it's, yeah, it's been, this has been a super fun ride. Um, not to get all mushy on you guys. Sorry. <laughs> all right, so we'll harvest this and we should be, yeah, we should get an apple. All right, so what do we do with this apple? We need to get a crushing tub, which I had set up, but we just replaced it with our other machine. So crushing tub, and we'll literally place a couple apples in here. Give it a little stomp. And what do we get? We get some apple seeds. And we can literally plant these apple seeds, give it a little bit of bone meal. And voila, we have actual saplings. You don't have to grow these to full because planting them in here is going to grant you some apples. Um, but like I said in the past, growing them is going to grant you more leaves. So we can go ahead and get these bad boys to grow. Bone meal at this point. It's just gonna be just as fast as anything else. And this will get you some more of those saplings and that's how you get the apple saplings and that's how you're gonna get the acacia. Um, so you have to use apple saplings in order to do that. Um, so we should be able to get those. Apple. This is one at a time though, compared to everything else, which was not one at a time. So that'll give us four acacia saplings. And we're ready to make some iron, guys. We are ready to make some iron saplings. Literally, all we have to do is get that to heat up, get that to melt, place our acacia, which we need two of those. Um, I made four because I like having extras of the saplings because later on we, we will need those extra saplings. But yeah, super, super cool. This is how you, you are going to progress. And uh, so now we get to move on to other things other than iron. So I'm gonna repeat this process for most of this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a piece of coal. We should have enough. Uh, you need to either take a, a little, a few of these coal pieces um, or there are other ways of getting it, but getting these coal pieces are, are pretty simple. Um, 
each time you harvest this, you should be guaranteed a coal piece almost. Just like a small chance. You put those together, and uh, you will get yourself a piece of coal. And I think eight of them actually makes a piece of coal now that I think about it. It is an eight piece recipe. And there we go. We completed that advancement. <laughs> Looky there. Um, so moving on to all of this other th other stuff. So we're working on the iron right now. The lapis is a little bit different. The lapis sapling. Um, this one requires a bottle of water, a dark oak sapling, bone resin, and clay. Re and clay. So bone requires a coal sapling, and a little bit of water gets us a dark oak sapling. You gotta love some of these recipes. I they they like totally make sense, and that's the kind of stuff I like to see. Is stuff making sense? All right. Um, so coal saplings. Well, we have a bunch of them. Might as well grab a couple. There we go. Um, this will get us the dark oak that we need. There we go. And we have ourselves some dark oak. Um, now, if you really want to, you can go ahead and you know duplicate these seeds if you want, or duplicate these saplings. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. We're just kind of going to move on into making this actual sapling, which does require some glass. Um, also, it's going to require clay and bone. So clay and bone with a piece with some glass. We need three pieces. And to pick up this with a bottle, I mean, it's super simple here. Bam. We got one bottle with water in it. Lapis sapling. There we go. So, I mean, very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and harvest the rest of these, get us some saplings made. Um, we're probably going to get some more cabinets built. I'm probably going to put them up on top and um, get some more storage going. But yeah, we have saplings growing like crazy now. And this is where I said this thing really picks up. By the way, here's our iron sapling while we're at it. Um, so yeah, just this, this, I mean, it kind of has a rapid progression. A lot of people said this is really grindy. I don't find this more grindy than sieving. I find this, I'm moving around, I'm doing more things, I'm being more productive feeling um, than just standing and, and sieving at a you know table. That's not that fun. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna farm up some of these saplings and uh, we'll be back. So at this point, I've gathered up a bunch of iron and I've ended up converting this into iron amber. Um, of course, to make iron amber, it's very simple. Uh, you just need to you know collect the resources from it. And what I suggest doing is getting yourself a very, very simple wooden hopper setup. So wooden hoppers are a very early source hopper. It is a little bit slower than your normal hopper and only has one slot. And, uh, but, but I, I mean, it works very well for early game stuff. Um, so let me kind of gl climb up here. I can get the climbing to work. There we go. You can place it right on top and on top of that, you can place a chest and that will just allow this to automatically flow in here. And the reason I want to do this is because, well, we have a lot of iron. And my recommendation at first is to make sure you have nine of these. Like that. Because this will mean you can get two iron blocks out of this nine. And you're not going to have to break this and waste any iron um, if you need to craft something else. So I throw all nine in there. That should grant us about two blocks worth of iron, which is going to be a very nice boost to our iron production. Um, so now that we have that done, best thing to do is to start completing some more quests. You can see right here, once we get iron, we can get a, an actual bucket. Even though these buckets are really, really good, there's still some things that these buckets can't do, like make lava, for instance, or, or sorry, make obsidian, for instance. Um, but there is other things. These are these are useful in their own right. So let's start working on that. We are about to get iron. Uh, we need to get lead made. And then we also need to make a redstone sapling and a lead sapling. I think we're going to get all these saplings done probably today. I, I don't see no reason why not. And then we have the slime sapling and things like that. Um, so a slime sapling. I don't believe this one's too difficult. It's a lapis sapling with milk. That's pretty easy, right? 
we have a cow in which we can milk. We can pick up some water. We can throw that in here. And we can get ourselves a lapis sapling. And there we go. Bam! We got ourselves a lovely slime sapling. Uh, and those are going to be very useful. Uh, but we also need slimy dirt. So slimy dirt is going to be right here. And this is going to require cactus and some milk. Um, cactus is actually not that difficult to get. We can, I believe, make a market to get cactus. But there's also seed that we can get. And I think we need a grinder or grindstone. Yeah, it's just stone and a stick. Very, very simple stuff. So a few stone pieces and just a stick. And we can make ourselves a grindstone. This is going to have many uses, by the way. This thing is actually going to be quite useful. Um, but what we can do is get some sand. And by just simply putting sand in here and grinding this down, and your uh, tooltip will tell you your current percentage, so you can kind of keep track of that, you will get cactus seed. And of course we need another piece of sand for this, or two pieces of sand, which will be fun to kind of show you this, um, because you can kind of speed grow this early on if you want. We need some uh, stick, which we already have, and we need a piece of cobblestone. So we're going to throw this together. And this doesn't need water, so we can do it pretty much anywhere. Plant this on here, get some bone meal, because of course we need to get this to grow fully. There we go, that's a full piece of cactus. And what we can do is flick this on and off on a piece of snad. Right now this is not on snad, so let's go ahead and break this. Let's put this, let's actually make snad. So that's regular sand. Snad is when you place two sand on top of one another. You'll get some snad. When you do this, and you put a lever on it, it will kind of start growing a little, just a little bit. Just, just a, just a little bit. And yeah, this is a good way of getting cactus. <laughs> you gotta love that. Um, and yeah, it'll actually, while it's on this, without even using this, it'll grow, and it'll continue to grow for 30, up to 32, uh, tall. And that's just, you know, based on the, the configs. So, this was also a bucket of milk, right? So, another bucket of milk. Cactus. And you get yourself some slimy dirt. And slimy dirt is really nice because you can slap this here, slap one of these on it. I recommend planting this one this way. Um, it's just probably the best way to do it. Smack it a couple times and you will get yourself a load, and I mean a load, of slime. Just like that. Very simple. And of course, crook this because you do want to guarantee yourself another sapling. You don't want to be stuck making another one. But yeah, this is this is just one of the saplings. Uh, the redstone sapling that we're fixing to make, super, super simple to make. Uh, let's go ahead and get that done. So redstone sapling is going to require red dye, iron, petrified, and coal. So two iron. We need some petrified, which should be in here somewhere. We need red dye. So a good old poppy. Or we can even use beetroot if we wanted to. Um, there's that. And we just need a coal sapling. So we put all those together. And that gets us a lovely redstone sapling. There we go. Something else that we can plant. Alright, so when it comes to lead, let's take a look at that as well. That's why I said, man, this is really fast once you sort of push through this. We're going to get ourselves lapis, sand, uh, iron, and petrified again. So more petrified. Two iron. Two sand. And then we're going to need a little bit of these lapis acorns. This is going to get us a lapis block, which we can turn into lapis. That will make the amber, which is here. And this is lead. We're going to go ahead and throw that here. I'm going to go ahead and cast out a block of this. Um, this thing is completely full and will be ready to go. Um, so we need to cook this down. But to make this sapling, we're going to need dark oak. Good thing we already have a dark oak, right? We have one just laying around. So there we go. Um, and what I'm going to do, this will probably give me, I mean, this will give me two ingots worth. I'm only going to cast out one. I want to keep some more of those dark oaks in there um, for later. 
because they're not the quickest thing to make. Um, but we already have ourselves at lead, which means we are almost done with this. So let's go ahead and get this in here so this can start cooking down and be ready to go. This will not alloy, by the way. So we have to wait for this to be completely empty before anything will go in there and finish. But that's going to be finally produced. We're going to put that sapling there. It's ready to go. Cast it out. And that's going to get us our good old lead zeppelin. <laughs> and then we have two others left on this page, which is going to inevitably lead to the diamond. By the way, we should have our iron. Let's go ahead and get our iron quest completed. There we go. And make the bucket. That's our other quest. And there we go. Completed. Also, we have a bed that we can make. That's another one. Um, a good way to get more string is to use some cottonwood leaves. Take the cottonwood leaves and place them here. And those will turn into string. You can use that string, of course, to grab yourself some wool and some wood. Now we're going to make ourselves a bed. Quest completed, almost. We do need to sleep in the bed, or at least lay in the bed whenever it becomes dark again. Um, and that will complete that quest. So this sapling is done. We completed that. There we go. Even more iron. Guys, we are rocking this. Um, and then, like I said, the next is going to be uh, the gold, which is going to need lead, I believe. So gold, amber. Um, it actually needs sand and lead. So yeah, we need to farm up some of the lead. So I'm going to do, go ahead and do that. And the silver, amber, is going to need light gray dye. Actually, we can go ahead and make the light gray dye so I can show you that. Um, what you're going to want to get is some charcoal. Just simply grab yourself some charcoal if you've already made it, or coal. Coal works just as well. So we can take that coal that we made earlier, and we can throw this in here. Like I said, charcoal also works. You're gonna grind it up, and this is going to get you some of this pulverized coal. And this can be used with two bone meal and work as dye. It works as black dye. And that will get you your light gray. So if you're confused on how to get light gray for your silver, that's how you do it. You don't have to go get ink sacks or anything like that. You can do it this way and be just fine. And this is also going to require lead. So, like I said, I'm going to farm up some of this lead, as always, and also get the redstone going. And I'll be back. So, we are nearing the end of this episode, and there is still more for us to do. So, let's go ahead and complete this quest by taking a nap. And we complete the nap time advancement. Super nice. And, ooh, that's really cool. I've actually not seen that during the day. It's really cool to see that actually open in the day. You can even see the stars up in the sky. Looks like that slowly fades away as the clouds take over. But um, let's take a look at some of the stuff that we need to finish up. So we have a couple things that are kind of on the side that we need to get done. And that is the donut sapling and the bacon sapling. Um, these two all require apples. And they also require some sugar cane. Um, so sugar sugarcane, you can get by just crushing leaves. Um, I believe it's any leaves. So if we throw that in there, we jump, we should get some sugarcane. And of course we can do the same thing with this to get more sugarcane, is by placing it on top of here. Actually, this has to be placed near water. So if we pick this up, We'll just place it in our crop near the water. There we go. Place it in the crop near the water. And then, of course, I'm going to give a little place for my lever. Like that. I probably need to get a slab as well, just to be on the safe side. Because I do not want to fall by accident way down there. There we go. Um, and we can, yeah, place this down. Let's get some bone meal. I think this actually might help it grow on its own does. So there we go. And we keep doing this. And this thing will get super tall. This thing can go up to 256 tall. So it can go all the way from bedrock to build height with no problem. And that will get us the sugar we need to complete those saplings. Um, so we also need some wheat. That is something else that we're going to need. 
So, a good amount of wheat. Of course, we can just get it from here. Um, because we need to get ourselves some donut, some dough, or donuts, um, which is not too difficult to do. Uh, we should be able to grab this, place this in a crafting table, and bam, make ourselves some dough, just like that. I think this is going to be enough dough for us to complete what I want to complete, at least. Which is just making some donuts. Um, we also need to make a bacon sapling. So we need to take this cooked pork chop and make ourselves a chopping block. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a chopping block real quick. We need a piece of flint. Now this will get us two. I don't know if the reason we get two is because it can break. I remember in other packs it does break. Um, but this is the chopping block. And what you're going to need is to place down your uh, pork chop and just hit it a couple times with your, I mean, you don't have to hold it down, you just whack it and eventually it will drop the bacon that you need. Super cool. I love this, <laughs> I love this feature. I mean, bacon is actually really, really good food. Um, so, now that we have that done, perfect. We're getting our bacon's donut stuff. Of course, the pack was made for bacon donut, which it totally makes sense. That this is a thing. And we'll surround this. That will get us four donuts, which is more than enough. So let's get a donut sapling and a bacon sapling. Just like that. We can see them both when we use this uh, bracket here. Or I guess I can't think of what that symbol is called. Um, yeah, we can. We need this and sugar, so very simple. Two sugar. We should be able to make the bacon sapling and the donut sapling. Perfect. That is pretty simple, <laughs> right? We have those saplings done. Now to get the end saplings for the rest of the quest, and we have one more left, and we can get our prestige point, is to do these two. So let's make gold. We need to make gold amber. That's super simple. Just some sand, iron, and lead. And of course you get our dye from using bone mill. And silver. We can go ahead and craft that as well. Remember we did our light gray that we made earlier. Let's go ahead and place the gold in here for right now. Now the gold is going to require a mineral sapling, I believe. Or sorry, the silver requires a mineral sapling. sapling. The gold requires an oak sapling, I think. Yeah, just a regular oak sapling. So when this is produced, which is now, we'll go ahead and get that sapling. It's going to take no time at all. I am going to waste this, so some people may not like this, but I am going to waste it. Whereas our lapis over here, we actually need to get a mineral sapling, which is super nice. I'm going to go ahead and make another one because mineral is actually another sapling that we are going to need. And there's our gold sapling. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just break this temporarily. Place it back. That's going to reset it. And then we're going to put the silver in there. Because like I said, these do create two. But believe me, later on, you're not going to need it. This is just to get it done a lot faster. And our silver sapling is going to require this mineral that we just made. We'll place that down. Get this ready to go. And this shouldn't take any, any time at all. It's really quick. Guys, we are fixing to have a diamond sapling that easy like once you hit this point when you start making the metal stuff the sapling production is just so fast you won't even know what hit you so again i'm going to place this down i'm going to get some of this farmed because the diamond sapling actually requires both of these to have been farmed in some way so yeah we're going to go ahead and get these things done i'm going to go ahead and get some more saplings of them and when we come back we're going to make the diamond and then I'm going to talk to you about resource hogs, and it's into the episode. So, I hope you guys are enjoying so far. So, last but not least, we have our final quest to get done. And that is, well, for one, making ourselves a bucket. But we'll worry about that here in a second. Let's go ahead and get our diamond sapling. Very, very simple to craft this thing. 
Um, I can make two of them, might as well. And for right now, I'm just gonna throw these in here. They're not that, that important at this moment, but later on we can farm them more and more, and things are gonna get a lot easier because we're about to unlock our first prestige point. So let's talk a little bit about this hog tide, because uh, this is actually a very interesting thing. So this actually pushes you when you make this bucket, which is a cobblestone type. Remember, if you search mud, there are several different types, and this will determine the type of hog that you end up getting, and each hog has its own different type of material that it needs to be on in order to dig for truffles. Um, and that's what this does. This is, the, the, if you see the truffles in the inventory, well, it's coming from this guy. Um, so what you need is to just right click this on a pig and it'll change this into a pig that is a resource hog, as you can see there. Um, but you can see this pig in particular says, cannot dig, no diggable block, and then it tells you the block required, which is dirt. So if we just take a piece of dirt and we give them somewhere to be, uh, if we place it over here, it'll turn into grass. Uh, I need sort of a place where he's not going to get away. Hmm. I really don't know how exactly I'm going to go about doing this. Let's grab, uh, I, I don't know, just to be quick about this. Let's grab some cobblestone. We'll dig out a little area. Surround the outside area with cobblestone so he can't get out. And so that it doesn't spread. And we'll create dirt there. Um, so, if we pick him up, we place him here, he should dig for truffles. Um, and you see right here, can dig for truffles. Now, I don't know if he is just going to stay on that particular block for good. It does look like other pigs might interact with him. Um, if we built a fence, he should stay. Um, and you can use speed potions on these guys, and that will increase them. If you use a speed 1, it'll increase it by 50%, make it twice as fast. Speed 2, of course, is going to go even further and further. Um, but you can see that eventually it will start producing truffles in this area. That is just something that you can do. It's another way to generate resources. Now, this will create the cobblestone truffle. If you look at how to make cobblestone, you can see there are truffles right here. And yeah, this is all you need. Uh, this is what they'll produce on the, the dirt. And you'll just mine them up. Or you, there's other ways of automating with pistons and things like that. But I think it just planted one. There we go. And so yeah, you just mine up the truffle. And you're good. And if you have four of these, you can make yourself some cobblestone. Look at that. Perfect. And that's how resource hogs works. But anyways, guys. We did more now than you think. We have completed this right here. All we gotta do now is get ourselves some diamond, which really doesn't take very long. <laughs> this right here is ready to go. Let's pop these out. We gotta grow them. We gotta get one more thing done, and that is just get a diamond. And using this crook is going to get that process done. Because this should drop a good amount of stuff good amount of acorns, and of course saplings, to get us at least one diamond. We need nine acorns total. Nine good old acorns. Let's see where we're at now. Six. All right, give me some more leaves. We're running out of leaves over there. We should be pushing it pretty close. Plus I need to get more saplings for this one anyways. Um, not that diamonds are, are super important, um, they are definitely a important uh, resource later on. Um, so, what are we at now? Seven? Oh boy, if anything we just have more saplings now, which means we can plant them. Guys, we are about to unlock our first prestige point, in which we really only have one thing we can use it for, but it does let me demonstrate how the prestige system works. So we have seven of them. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and get these planted while we break those. And we're pretty much guaranteed <laughs> to get a diamond from that. Um, so yeah, all it takes is nine acorns to produce one diamond um, starting off. So pretty simple. We just got to wait for these to grow to 100%. 
they're at 60. And it's kind of going to go in the pattern just like so. So we just need two more. And guys, we unlock our chicken dinner over here. Just like that. You see, we have 51 to 52. And I can't believe we've already got this done in episode two. Like I said, there is loads more to this pack than what you currently see. So, there's the rest of the acorns. And guys, we did it. We win. We complete the challenge. You win off of this. And what we can do is open our prestige menu by hitting P. We now have one prestige point, and we get to use it on Zen Gardens to unlock the stage bonsai trees. And now we can craft hopping bonsai. You can see the stage is unlocked now, and we have the ability to do this, guys. Absolutely amazing. Guys, this has been super awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this YouTube series. If you are, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.